Welcome to another video tutorial. In this video, I will show you how we can use this bar ePlant browser. So we know that usually uh, we can use this bar ePlant browser to get the expression profile of any gene. So let's suppose if you are working with any gene and you don't know where that gene express, I mean which organelles like root, shoot, stem, which part of uh, uh, the plant has highest and which part has lowest expression. So uh, then you can use this bar ePlant browser. Here this is actually the rice uh, ePlant browser. So before I go into detail I can also show you its main website that is also used for other plants. So how we can get this simply you need to go to Google and you need to write bar, bar data tools for plant biology when you will simply click on this the first this is the first link that is actually the bar and other data analysis tool for plant biology actually this is maintained by university of uh, uh, toronto in canada so when you will click on this uh, this website will be open so here we can see that this website is actually the bioanalytic resource for plant biology and interestingly we can use this uh, website to get any gene expression whether it is whether belonging to many crop species and other uh, ornamental species so we can also use this for wheat e plant and including other like e plant this is the new version uh, have been released and interestingly and we can see that uh, more and more crops are being included uh, nowadays in this database like we can see this is uh, have been updated for maize, popular, tomato, camelina, soybean, e-plant, potato and barley, medicaco, similarly other like wheat, sunflower, rice. So today I will demonstrate you how to use rice. The other parts uh, we can exp explain in different video but uh, in this video I will explain how we can use this for rice. Although this uh, website is also useful to determine the the expression of Arabidopsis and other cell organelles. So this website in nutshell is very useful for the plant biologists uh, and also uh, for those who are working with the humans and mouse they can also get the expression profiles and uh, SNP variation data uh, by single this website. So uh, before I <coughs> but in this video I will only show you how we can use that ePlant rice browser when you will click on this link so a new tab will be opened and uh, that tab is actually uh, the bar ePlant browser of rice so now here we can enter our gene of interest id and locus of oreza sativa located on chromosome 4 g 40720 let's suppose this is our gene actually this gene i have cloned so now let's try to get its expression by simply clicking on this so when you will click on this we will see a uh, here a bar will start to run and will retrieve its expression profile so uh, here we can see that uh, the expression of this gene in the different tissues uh, we can see uh, here the more the color is red it will show the expression of this gene is high so here we can see that the highest reddish color is in this that is spikelet ap apical meristem and the, as the color will be on the yellow side we can see the expression would be the zero so here we can see that in mature leaf uh, although there is expression but in the young leaf the expression is more so in the uh, seed at stage 5 is more than compared to stage uh, 4 and 3. Similarly we can uh, see its expression in the different fluorescence uh, stages like we here we can see that in stage 2 and 1 its expression is higher than the other stages. So uh, in this way you can get uh, an idea of your gene of interest expression that where your gene is being expressed and which part of that plant is expressing more so that you can get idea about its function so when you will click on this uh, it will show you that if you are giving some treatments like under the aerobic condition its expression is 
like normal its uh, level is 2 we can see that and if uh, under the anoxia I mean under the absence of oxygen we can see its expression is a higher in the coleopatite so uh, we can also see uh, its location on the chromosome we here we can see that rice has the 12 chromosome and among them it is located on the chromosome 4 so similarly you can also see this gene interaction that this gene interact with with which other genes here we can see that uh, for this gene there is no interaction found so there are some gene for which it will not show any active interaction but there are we can also use some other example that will show you interaction so here you can see its sequence in the different databases and its similarities with other databases so now let's try to get uh, any other gene ID let's suppose we can start any of other gene like Oriza sativa Oriza sativa and let's suppose its chromosome is 4 and G we can 3 7 9 6 0 let's suppose we try with this gene so when you will click on this so here we can see that uh, I have entered three genes and all of those genes expression here we can see that let's now try to check this gene interaction so here we will click on this so we will get its interaction like here we can see that this is the central gene so it may interact with other several genes so uh, you just need uh, to click and enter the gene ID name it will show you the um, possible interactions so uh, moreover uh, you can also use this uh, uh, ePlant browser to get uh, get the natural variations like this and you can also get the RNA sequencing you can also get the tissue experiments cell experiments and you can also get its sequence and interaction and it's also molecule and the sequence so similarly uh, these all feature can also be utilized and here it was just a short brief view you can also use the heat map viewer and you can also use this uh, that this gene have uh, natural variations among the different ecotypes around the world and you can also uh, see the expression of different genes you can also uh, effect of different treatments on this gene with the time and you can also see that this gene uh, subcellular localization prediction so actually uh, in this way uh, you can also use this website for many other features and uh, like interaction and what are the active binding sites and uh, what are the uh, possible known polymorphism in this way uh, you can use this website to uh, get the interaction of your gene and uh, let's suppose uh, you want to download the interaction of this gene so you can simply uh, save this website as the high resolution image so from here you can save and uh, you can use this uh, website or image as a direct uh, in your submission or your research article so hope so uh, this video will be helpful you to know about this bar e plant browser so thank you for watching if you have any question about this so please let me know in the comments thank you for watching bye bye